Hello and welcome to another episode of Tehmanic Official. You're honest to the group of the verse. Today I'm going to talk about Open Fabric. So Open Fabric is quite well known actually in the Web3 space now, especially for AI. It's an innovative uh, platform that's covering uh, the power of AI and blockchain as a layer one solution. It's basically uh, a new standard for AI driven solutions that um, harnesses the power of EVM driven smart contracts and then provides better traceability, transparency and efficiency. Um, I like this summary in uh, actually pool. So one of the key overviews is they are layer one, they are planetary scale, they are enabling collaboration between different AI projects and innovators. So they're not competing, they're actually collaborating and facilitating building of different AI tools in their ecosystem. And then it helps you get quick and easy access to powerful AI tools with AI uh, platform that Open Fabric is building for you. So even if you have a glance at their website, they are uh, fun for AI. They're not focusing so much only you know, on the transactions or TPS or things like that, that most of the layer ones are doing, but they are actually focusing on saying that uh, they have top AI applications and uh, they have info of each of them on version of them, that there are a suite of tools that they can have to meet the modern world. So they have drug discovery, trading bot, sound fabric bot, QR code fabric, meme fabric, you know, a lot of different things, avatar generator. Uh, some of them you can do on the test net, for example, um, use the sound fabric to make cool sounds using AI or the art fabric to generate AI uh, art or memes and, you know, trading. These are the most common ones, obviously, but there are much more things are coming. I like the medical related ones personally. So that's the sort of unique selling point that they have in comparison to other projects. And uh, going back to ChangeGPT one that has a good information. As you can see their ecosystem, you can make a smart investment decision. You can get access to uh, edge in terms of tools. You can join as an innovator. You can build your own infrastructure. You can become a promoter. You can join as a validator with the token. You can become an ambassador. You can publish your own data uh, information for the apps that they have. Um, some of the key achievements they have is the test and is live. You can use it. And they have a demo video. They have a very uh, strong community. They are impressive network of 40 plus strategic partnerships. They have over 800 developers working on the early access with waitlist. They've got over 50 AI apps working on it. And they are integrated into Reef, uh, Chainlink, API3, ZKSync, Avalanche, Harmony, and Algorand with very strong features and functions, as I said, commoditizing the access to AI and being interoperable. Core element is monetization, obviously, by lowering the infrastructure demand and technical know-how required to build. The community is the other aspect that's pretty popular, and then the scalability. One of the other aspects that they have, and by the way, you can go to the website and check it out further in terms of the marketplace and everything that they have, demos, alphas, it's a lot of content here, um, like crazy amount of part partner. And then this is the whole partnerships that they have. So in terms of partners, backers, and the team, as you can see, they have a huge number of partners from Reef, IPFS, U2, all these uh, DAOs and AI projects and AI tools, all the way to um, strong VCs like GSR, Big Brand Holding, Gate.io, Kangaroo Capital, obviously being a top tier Australian uh, VC, Gains Associate, Alpha Drops, and many others. And then uh, also covered in many news agencies. And on top of that, in terms of team, they have a very strong team. Uh, Andre is the founder of the project and the CEO. He was previously in the Polymath project and researcher in Sky Network. And uh, the core development team are software and AI engineers who worked previously on uh, Elrond, which is quite popular. And then um, the now known as Multiverse X, one of the top 50 coins. And Yuan himself is technology manager. And uh, the rest of the team is also very uh, experienced in the field of uh, Web3, as well as the field of um, AI. Now, the advisors they have, they have a scientific advisor uh, for the AI and technical capability. Um, so these are more AI and 
technical and then they have people from uh, business advisory in Kana Labs and Korean Chamber of Commerce and they also have business advisor from Opulus and yeah of course you can see me as well here as one of the partners now um, in terms of the project tokenomics and token utility there are multiple places you can actually um, access that token utility is staking so obviously earning from capital commitments and pledging to the value of the ecosystem making money from um, staking the transaction in the network is going to be using the token you get rewards for interacting with the ecosystem you can be a validator in the ecosystem as it's a layer one it's a method of payment um settled in ai tokens for uh, open fabric token ofn is the ticker for it and of course is a DAO governance token as well in terms of the tokenomics uh they have i'm trying to find the more uh, detailed one so they have uh ofn as a ticker 500 uh, million tokens total supply bsc chain bet 20 is going to be the initial um token chain now let me find a more better picture if i can yes i found it so here as you can see um seed round is going to be five percent of the total raise at a price of two cents and the release is eight percent tg three months clifton eight months 18 months linear vesting they raised half a million dollar on that um private round they couldn't raise the whole thing with around uh two million they raised at the tg release of eight percent three months cliff again and 16 months linear vesting and this is 15 percent of the tokenomics and that is for 45 four and a half cents kols consist of a one percent of the tokenomics 15 percent on lock on tge two months cliff and then 10 months linear vesting Public round, they've sold at the price of 0 0.06 or 6 cents. 17% is unlocked on TGE, two months cliff and 10 months of linear vesting as well for this round. Uh, so yeah, the seed round is advantageous. Uh, cannot uh, lie, but obviously they raised a small amount comparatively. So that's not a big problem. In terms of the marketing round, 2% was sold and uh, not so sorry two percent allocated three ten percent is tg and then the rest is for 12 months vesting liquidity is seven percent tg and the rest is uh two months in your vesting uh, seven percent total allocation 45 percent tg team and advisors are 18 percent no unlock for six months and then three years linear vesting so that's good partners uh will have also three years linear vesting and uh, it's for 5%. Invest innovators fund, they're going to give to the people who innovate on their chain for three years vesting and then the ecosystem fund. So the tokenomics um, is not, let's say, amazing in the seed round, being uh, very cheap, but um, also quite a fair valuation given the extent of the project. Um, so they're going to be, the valuation is uh, around uh, 30 million fully diluted. TGE market cap maximum. I think it's going to be less than this given this uh, less sale they had. Let's say around 700K TGE market cap. It is a bit high. I'm not going to lie. Usually four to 500K is more acceptable. But again, the extent of this project is pretty impressive. So I would compare it to Singularity Net ecosystem projects like HyperCycle. So if you compare it to something like HyperCycle with crazy initial market cap and a high valuation and they're still on 5, 6X, um, then it's a totally fair comparison. So that's that's where I'm comparing the project to in terms of that. So that's for the tokenomics. Now, the roadmap for the project also um, includes um, several aspects such as moving into, um, so here you can see it on the white paper, but basically first they're gonna move from the testnet to the mainnet. They're gonna release more applications and um, also listing on multiple sort of exchanges that they are going to have. So if you're interested to know more about that sort of thing, also, uh, by the way, this is the pitch deck as well, if you're interested to know more about the project. So not just the white paper, the pitch deck is also the positioning and the pitch deck is also accessible for anyone to know. 
So that's also the, the sort of roadmap of the project. Now, in terms of the uh, IDO and the listing, they're gonna have IDO on four launch pads for a total raise of 1.2 mil. So the first raise is going to be in the launch pad for Chain GPT, which is happening right now, actually, and I'm recording this the same day, actually, as the IDO. So on Chain GPT, um, I think I clicked too much. On Chain GPT, they have already sold 90% of the token. Um, and the raise was 150k, so already too late to register interest for that. In Engine Starter, if you've registered interest, currently you can uh, invest in the public round here. And um, for for that matter, you can also participate in the first come first serve round tomorrow after this video is published. And there would be some allocation left because they're raising 200k there. On pools, um, they are raising 250. And you can register your interest now and stake 250 pool X or more to register your interest and participate. And they're raising 600K in CD5 as well for the IDO. Now, in terms of social media, they're quite active. So as you can see, they've got 124,000 followers. They have really great engagement for their posts. And they, as you can see, organic and engagement. And uh, yeah, they, they, they're doing a lot of good articles as well. I personally like the genome decoding project. And also they've got 65,000 people in their Telegram group. So they're consistently growing also in their Discord, consistently growing in different channels, basically. They also got a very good score in uh, their Certic and they're audited by Hacken. So token is also safe and secure. Now, in terms of the launch, they're planning to launch on the 24th of um, October, but the date might change. We don't know yet. And they are planning to launch on top tier exchange. Again, this is something that they've told me. I can't name the exchange until it's announced, but if that exchange is confirmed, then I think it's a, quite a good news for the project. Um, it's one of the most promising projects. I know the project myself before I joined as an advisor since um, a, um, Feb, March, try to bring it on board to good launch pads. And Change GPT, which I'm collaborating with, is one of the uh, you know teams that are actually interested in the project because they know that um, Open Fabric also has a I guess good future. So if you're into AI and blockchain, it's definitely a project to look into. Invest um, if you want. That you do your own research, of course, and uh, learn from them. You know because they have a lot of tools as well that you can utilize in their website. They've got a whole section on the tech, and um, if you're a technical person, you can learn from them. So I hope this video, uh, which was done very quickly because the idea is right now, uh, is sufficient for you and gives you the information you need if you want to invest in the project. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like, you subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, please uh, put a comment and I will ensure to respond to you. Thank you for watching this video and I wish you all the best. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye.